Hello, welcome back to another day over here in my machine shop. And today I was going to show you how you add Synergy 735 to your water tank in your CNC machine. So these are the steps that I'm taking to actually add this chemical or this coolant uh, cutting agent to the machine. So this is what I'm doing. Alright, so what I have here is See, it's, 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 it's Synergy 735, right? That's the Blazer Synergy 735. And this is where I'm adding it to. Let alone, I have an oil skimmer to skim the oil, um, of course, from the um, tank. Or else you're just going to have oil sludge. And on top of that, I integrated my own filter uh, to my uh, house machine. They don't come with it at the older model, but the newer models do come. And I also add gauges to see how it's running, what's the pressure like coming out, and then from the tank coming out. So here they are right here. I'm sorry the video isn't really, really good, but I'm trying to uh, get better at this. I'm doing. Um, first, before anything, when you when you run um, when you're running your machine or you're cutting anything in your machine, you should have something that catches the. Uh, this is how I made my own chip catcher uh, to catch all the chips so the chips won't get into the tank. Um, and this is a pretty good idea. I you know I haven't got. Uh, any chips in my water and that's a big thing or you'll create sludge. Um, this right here, I got it from a air filter. I just cut it up and I just use it as a mesh. So while I'm adding this Synergy 735 into this machine, I also have it run. I also have it run while I'm doing this. See? I have it running so it could cycle, cycle through the through the machine and this way you don't have to uh, you know you can see how if the water is clear if the water has any oil on it or anything like that so that's what I'm doing right now it's just running my machine with the Synergy 735 and you see how clear I'm going to get this uh, this water looking um, the Synergy 735 uh, is actually uh, I like it uh, just because you can see your parts when you're cutting your parts and you have like a uh, of course like a water soluble with an oil the problem with with those uh, cutting fluids is you can sometimes not be able to see how the cutter is cutting the part you might have like chatter or, or a burr or something going on on the part which you really can't see unless you stop your machine and actually check the part itself with the Synergy 735, you can almost see if you have any chatter, and if you do, you can go in, uh, and uh, fix your feeds and speeds inside the machine. So that's why I like the 735, and let alone, it leaves a really clean surface. Um, another thing with the Synergy 735 is, a lot of people do not know that you have to um, have a filter, when you're putting filter, uh, when you're putting water into the water tank, you got to filterize it with something that takes the chlorine out the water. That is something that a lot of people don't do with the Synergy 735. Uh, they just run the water into your tank without using a, uh, a filter. So how I take my chlorine, I have to take the chlorine you know, out the water, so I use a filter. And this is the filter uh, right here. Uh, uh, I got it over at uh, Home Depot and it does a great job by taking the chlorine out of the water. Uh, so this is uh, where, uh, this is what I use to, uh, you know, the filter to clean the chlorine out the water. Uh, that's what I'm, that's, those are the kind of steps I'm using. And on top of that, you have to get a, a refractometer. Uh, a refractometer, right, is is this. Let me show you what it is. 
to, to check your ratio in your tank, you need a refractometer. This is what it is. Uh, this is how you can check your ratio from your 735 to your to your water to see how much uh, dilution you need in your tank. This is one thing you need. After you get that, after you get that all set up, uh, then you should have a good uh, good view of how much uh, you need to dilute it, uh, your water uh, in your tank. So this is how I set it up. And make sure when you're setting it up, you always keep your machine running, your coolant, so it can circulate the, the water or the coolant, you know, the cutting agent in your machine. So. This is how this is how I'm doing it, and uh, you know, that's, I like the Synergy 735 Blazer. I know uh, Titan of uh, Times of CNC runs it, and they, you know, they love it, and I ran it before, and I love it. Uh, I switch over from water soluble, uh, oil soluble, uh, coolant, uh, not coolant, but cutting agent. I keep saying coolant. Uh, but cutting agent and I found out that it, it, I like the Synergy 735 a lot, a lot better. And let alone you can cut a lot of uh, material, uh, like different material on it, you know, steel, aluminum, internet, stuff like that. So uh, this is, you know, this is what I'm running on my machine. If you want to leave me a comment or uh, or anything like that, uh, or just ask or want to tell me uh, here's a better way of doing it, uh, please do so. And, um, you know, I'm always opening up open to see the suggestions so uh, you know thank you again for uh, watching this video and uh, have a good day